Today we're doing a recipe for our famous Lanzhou beef noodle soup. I got a chance to visit Noodle Arts Restaurant to learn their secrets to their famous Lanzhou noodle soup. At least some of their secrets. Local celebrity chef David Hawksworth had this to say about their famous beef noodle soup. If I was in charge of giving Michelin stars, I would give them a star for their noodles. My version of this famous Lanzhou beef noodle soup starts in the second half of this video. But first, check out the secrets from the Noodle Arts restaurant. So how long does it take to cook the noodles? Just uh, 30 seconds. Oh, 30 seconds? Yeah. Wow. So that's very fresh. Wow, that's wow. Yeah. Do you make your noodles every day? Yeah, every day. Every day. Wow. Yeah, every single dish is made wow. of fresh noodles. Okay. Yeah. So this uh, this noodle is what style? This like is a beef uh, on, uh, banjo, banjo. Banjo, yeah, oh. traditional beef noodle. Oh, okay. It's okay. already exists over 100 years. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very famous in China. Oh, Everybody yeah. knew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. That's and, uh, uh, the daikon radish. Yeah, it's a leek. There's uh, thin leek. sliced beef. Yeah. Is that uh, sliced, that's chai, uh, right? No, it's a it's a leek. Oh, leek. Leek. Oh. And uh, here's a cilantro. Oh, you actually you use leek for that? Eh? Yes, oh. yes. The traditional lanzhou beef noodle uh, needs a leek, not oh. a green onion. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the, the real traditional yes. noodles need the leek yes. and the. Uh, yeah. And that's uh, the. That we call the. What's this other? Uh, the cilantro. Cilantro, yes. Cilantro. So it's not green onions. I no. keep seeing green no, onions. No, no green onions. Oh, okay, that's so this is authentic. That, that's a false one. So this is authentic. <laughs> yeah, this is authentic. Oh, wow. Then the last step, step is the chili oil. We use uh, like a lanzhou style chili. Oh. chili. Is that lanzhou style chili grown yes. in uh, in your area? Yes, that's lanzhou? right. Are you, you know, from, are you from Lanzhou? Yes, I, oh. I raised up in Lanzhou. Oh, where is Lanzhou? I've never been Lanzhou there. is the northwest of the China. Is that near Xi'an? Uh, um, west of Xi'an. Okay, so yeah. I've been to Xi'an, yeah. and I've been to uh, then, small places around Xi'an, but I've never been to Lanzhou. Then you can see the, the noodle. It's a five symbol in this uh, noodle. One is a clear soup. Yeah. The second is a, a white radish. Okay. The third is a red chili oil. Okay. The fourth is a green the uh, um, onion and a uh, green the uh, cilantro and the uh, leeks. Okay. And uh, the fifth is a uh, uh, traditional wheat the oh. flour. Okay. It's a uh, noodle. Oh, okay. So five and, simple, and the five beef uh, you have to make it ahead of time, right? Yeah, the beef we use the best quality the shank, beef oh, shank. That's beef shank. Yes, beef shank. Okay. Family owned the <laughs> sixty-eight uh, restaurant in China. You have, you, yeah. you have restaurants? Yes, yes, yeah. Oh. With my family own. Oh. But this is the only one. How many you have in China? 68. How many? 68. 68? Yeah, 68. Oh, you got 68 restaurants? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you mean 6 to 8. You mean 68. No, 68. Wow. Later that night, I got a chance to try the tasting menu. Thirty ingredients in here. Oh, 30 ingredients. Not very uh, oh, wow. spicy, but tasty, very good. Very good. This is the uh, beef noodle that won the uh, award at the uh, what is that? The soup festival. Oh, the food soup festival. Yeah. So these noodles are a little bit thicker than the ones I uh, video earlier. So these are a little bit thicker. Uh, same kind of flavor. Ooh, that broth is really good. Today's recipe is for uh, Lanjo noodles. So I've got the piece of beef shank here. I was talking to the uh, boss lady at the uh, uh, noodle arts uh, restaurant, and they say authentic Lanjo noodles that they make. They use the beef shank. So here we're gonna boil some water. We've got some boil water going. And then uh, this uh, beef shank has a nice uh, bone marrow right here. So this is the uh, beef that they use, so I'm going to use the same thing. So put the piece, the piece of beef shank in the water. We're just going to parboil the beef for about uh, 
five to ten minutes just to get rid of some of the impurities and some of the dirt. I'm just going to rinse the uh, beef shank and then put it into the, uh, the stock. Got some pork bones and chicken bones. Add a couple pieces of ginger and boil the uh, soup stock for about an hour. Just cover the lid and uh, boil at uh, low to medium heat. The soup has been going for about an hour, so just add about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of salt. I'm just going to transfer the, uh, the beef shank into the uh, soup stock. I'm just going to skim some of the oil off the top of the surface there. So I've got the ingredients I'm going to put in now. I've got two uh, pieces of ginger, three star anise, a stick of cinnamon, I've got uh, three small pieces of uh, bay leaf. Bay leaf will bind all the flavors together. And I also have some uh, black cardamom. So the black cardamom, it uh, has sort of a smoky flavor and it's used in Vietnamese pho uh, soup. So that will bring some flavor to the broth. So this is a pretty uh, uh, sort of a conservative type of broth. It's not gonna be spicy or anything like that. It's just gonna bring out some flavor. So I have the uh, broth simmering at uh, low to medium heat. Use a potato peeler to peel the skin of the daikon. This is a large one. So this just cut off the ends first. So I'll just cut off the ends there. So you're just going to cut it in fairly large pieces. So you don't have to cut it any pattern, you know, just rough cut it like that. So now we're going to put in the uh, bacon radish. So we got about maybe uh, three to four cups of bacon radish. So these are the uh, beef slices that I uh, sliced up. This was from the beef shank, it had the bone that we used to make the soup stock. So we serve the, uh, the noodles with some uh, beef uh, slices here. So this is the leek. It uh, looks like a giant green onion. According to the uh, lady at the Noodle Arts, the authentic Lanzhou noodles uses the uh, leek for the, on the noodles. So we're just going to cut up this leek here. So you can see that's what it looks like. So just cut off the end. So you can cut it like in little pieces. So what I'll, I just generally do is just cut it like this. So just cut it like this. So here we have the uh, Lanjo noodles. You can use any kind of noodles you like. I'm just going to put a handful of the Angel noodles. These ones only take about three minutes to cook. So just put it into boiling water. The noodles are going really well. So it only takes three minutes to cook these noodles. So you can use any kind of noodles you like. Uh, this is uh, Lanjo noodles. I can also make homemade noodles, but I'll do that in another in another video. So that's a nice broth there, like this. And finally, put some of this uh, homemade chili oil. You can buy it at the store bought, but nothing beats homemade chili oil. So I'm going to put as much as you like. Usually about one to two tablespoons. So just put that on top of the noodles there. So put a couple of tablespoons of that right there like that. Mmm, those are good. The beef is real tender. The noodles with the chili oil. Mmm. That's really yummy. There you have it, Nanjo noodles, a traditional delicious soup. Enjoy.
Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like and subscribe. Any comments are always welcome. Take care and stay safe. Mm -hmm.